and we're super excited to be here to present today. My name is Rachel. I'm uh, from Cigna, and with me is, is James Norton, Program Director for Cigna's ADP. And we're super excited to get to talk to you all for the next 25 or so minutes about our program and some of the cool uh, features that Cigna has to offer its actuaries early in their career. I am going to go ahead and share my screen. I think at least I have screen share access, even if I can't hear. <laughs> and we will talk through some materials. All right. So um, I'd like to start by uh, sharing a little bit about uh, Cigna and the ADP and starting with this slide, I think uh, showing all the faces on this slide, this is a, a picture of our program as it stands today. Um, we actually just had our annual uh, or biannual summit of all our ADP members. And uh, this picture was just taken about four weeks ago when we all gathered together for a, a really fun event in, uh, in Springfield, Massachusetts to do three days of learning and bonding together. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of start with a display of our uh, program before we get too far into uh, the deeper materials. We'll start off with, now formally with some introductions before we uh, jump to some uh, specifics of our program. So I want to start uh, again by sharing that my name is Rachel Spitzig and I'm the program manager for Cygnus ADP. I, uh, I'm actually in, in my role responsible for our internship program, as well as some of our uh, recruiting processes and supporting our full-time members on the back end with uh, some of the uh, leadership and development opportunities they have. Uh, within the ADP. And I uh, kind of uh, neatly came into this role because I'm actually a product of the ADP myself, having first been an intern with Cigna and then returning back full time uh, following my graduation from Drake University. And I am based out of our uh, Bloomfield office, which is in Connecticut, where I've been my entire career with Cigna. I'll turn it over next to uh, James to share a little bit about himself. I think I can see your mouth. I'll be able to see your mouth, James, at the very least. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Rachel. Um, maybe just a quick intro on myself. So my name is James Norton. I'm the program director for the AEDP and uh, have been with Cigna for a long time. I was actually a summer actuarial intern in the mid 2000s and came back full time in 2011. So I've been a full time actuary at Cigna for over a decade now, which is hard, hard to believe. And I came through the AADP, I have my FSA, and now I'm working on leading the, the AADP full time. Um, I'm a graduate of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and I live in Washington, DC. So it's great to see you all here. And uh, yeah, we appreciate the time. All right, back to you, Rachel. All right, okay, yeah, <laughs> that's my signal. <laughs> So um, we are going to try to save a good uh, eight or 10 minutes at the end for any questions you might have, but we wanted to start off with at least giving like 10 or so minutes about what Cigna is and what the ADP is all about. Um, feel free as I'm chatting, if anything I say like sparks a question or thought, feel free to drop it in the chat. Um, we can, you can use raise hand as well. Uh, we, we might uh, need to employ James to help us out with some of the raised hand feature, but uh, feel free to, to signal to us if you have a question you'd like us to ask. Um, but jumping into it at a high level, um, Cigna is a health services company. And that means that we're, we're more than just health insurance. We are helping partner in our customers and clients, total health and wellness. And our mission, which virtually every employee at this company could recite on the back of their hand, is to help improve the health, well-being, and peace of mind of those we serve. We're a pretty big firm. Um, I won't go into too many details. Uh, we could talk about this uh, for, for longer than uh, our time would allot. But just to give you a little sense of the numbers, um, Cigna is currently 13 on the Fortune 500 list. So we are a pretty sizable um, uh, employer, but what's really cool about that is that with our scale, we have the ability to touch a lot of customer lives. Um, so we currently have more than 190 million relationships around the world. It's like almost hard to wrap your mind around sometimes, but I think that's what's one part that makes Cigna a really exciting place to work is the incredible breadth of individuals that we have a chance to interact with and make a difference in their in their health. At Cigna, um, we have uh, just a, a sampling on this slide of how 
DEI are brought to life at our organization. One thing that I think is really cool and something I'm really proud of is that the ADP has a DEI council of its own that um, kind of sits within our program specifically and, and helps promote diversity and inclusion in the actuarial community. Um, part of that is like is our partnership with IABA. But outside of what, and actually we're, we're on the um, the advisory council for IABA as well. And um, and our reach on the DEI perspective, um, it, it's kind of cool that we have uh, a council within the ADP, but also our employee resource groups at Cigna uh, bring an even broader life to DEI at Cigna, whether um, it's uh, either people who are affiliated with a group or allies of that group who wanna get together and put on events and education and programming to really spread the word and have positive influence in their communities that all members of Cigna are welcome to be a part of. And ultimately, you know, tying back to our mission, like we believe that a foster of belonging and equity also like kind of comes back to our mission to positively impact the well-being of those we serve. So um, we really see it brought to life in many different ways. It's like, again, if, if any individuals have questions about this, um, would be happy to tie back at the end, but just wanted to give you a sampling uh, of different involvements and subcommittees within the broader organization that support D&I uh, coming to life. Now, the ADP, uh, the Actual Executive Development Program, is a really robust uh, internship and rotational uh, structure that helps support early careers get a really, early career actuaries get a really nice jump start on their journeys to becoming fully credentialed actuaries. Um, again, I'm going to give you a little flavor of, of what the ADP is all about and uh, hopefully get you excited uh, to learn more. I did want to call out uh, this slide in particular is a sampling of our newest class of ADP members in our Connecticut office. So these are the dozen or so individuals who just started at Cigna this past summer after their um, college graduations or other life events. And uh, I think it's just a nice call out of, um, of the community, like welcoming community that we have. So uh, this is our, our brand new hires. Our, um, our program's mission and goal is really to help attract and retain and develop uh, talent and, and help our actual uh, associates to become financial and business leaders. And we're, we're a very large organization with about 180 members and about 150 graduates of our program currently working at Cigna. So there is no shortage of actuarial community uh, surrounding us. A really cool thing about our program is that we're led by two FSAs. So it's actually my, myself and James. And uh, it's a pretty unique uh, setup where uh, the actual profession and especially the exam process and rotational process is, is pretty niche. And getting to have the support of a program office of people who kind of have already gone through that journey firsthand and know some of the the, the roller coaster ride that it takes to become a fully credentialed actuary is, is a really nice um you know, complementing support system to help jumpstart someone's career. And um, we do currently have six actual locations across the U.S. Uh, as I noted, I'm, I'm actually calling in from our Connecticut office, which is our uh, global headquarters, but we have actuaries spread around the world um, in, in kind of like critical masses of our members in each of these locations. Um, our program, outside of just offering uh, developmental rotations, as I've already mentioned, uh, has really comprehensive exam support and co competitive compensation structure, as well as a whole plethora of trainings on the back end and networking opportunities to extend your, your reach, extend your foundation of knowledge. And I think it's this combination of rotation support, exam support, uh, kind of training and leadership opportunities that ultimately play into our ADP's strong track record of success in placing exact actuaries in executive roles. A really fun fact is that our, our current CEO and our current our CEO of Evernorth and current CFO of the whole uh, Cigna Enterprise are actually um, graduates of the ADP. So we've got some pretty senior leaders in some really influential roles who have taken the training that they learned through their time starting off in the ADP and brought it to really great levels. I think it's a really strong testament to the strength of our program. 
And so I will uh, kind of, before we open it up to questions, leave you with a few more slides just in terms of what do we, what do we look for in some high level facts you should know about our program if, it, if what you've heard so far sounds interesting to you. So when we're looking for potential actuarial talent to join us either as um, interns or full-time, we're looking for individuals who get the job done with their strong technical, functional, analytical skills, individuals who work well with others, showing communication and collaboration, understand the big picture uh, with their business acumen and the uh, effective decision-making skills that help drive for results. And finally, their ability to in, uh, lead through influence when you're motivating others and using and leveraging others' differences to uh, achieve a strategy. And so once again, I will highlight that actuaries at Cigna are not just technical resources. We really value the E in our name, uh, the executive, and uh, really view uh, the ADP members as the future business leaders of the company. So some important, just uh, some important stats about our program that might be uh, of interest to you. I, I won't read through every single one, but I will note that we, again, we do have full-time and internship opportunities at Cigna. And on the full-time side, it's a very structured rotational development program where, again, you're getting that rotation support, but also co very comprehensive exam uh, support as well. And a great community of 180 plus other young uh, early career actuaries to uh, go through the journey with, take exams with, go through rotations with, and lear learn from each other uh, as you're building out your actual career. Our internship program is kind of a, a very uh, condensed and intense 11 week summer experience where uh, in, that, in the course of 11 weeks, you are exposed to all different facets of the company and challenged in different case studies and projects while also having a dedicated project that you get to wholly own um, with the guidance of a manager throughout the summer. Uh, and so it's a nice balance of getting a lot of breadth uh, and knowledge about all different product lines, but also getting to have an individual project that you can project that you can leave your stamp on and really um, be proud of your work product at the end of the day. Um, with that, I will uh, just throw out some fun pictures of our internship this summer. Uh, like I said, we have interns in all our different office locations. So just a, a fun little snapshot of, of some of the fun things that happened as well with our interns and community members this summer. We've got in the top left, a paint night that happened in Connecticut. Uh, in the top middle, we got uh, going bowling in Texas, Phillies on the right. Our Nashville office went to the um, the Country uh, uh, Hall of Fame, Country Music Hall of Fame in Nashville in the bottom right. And in Denver, there's always uh, uh, some, looks like some fun happy hours going on with the community members. So just a smattering of, of what our interns and community members get to experience on a regular basis being part of this community. So I'm gonna open things up for questions. James, I'm gonna ask you to help me out here a little bit, but um, I do just wanna make sure we leave on this slide, which is uh, if, you're, if what you've heard over the past 15 or so minutes is of interest to you, um, we, would we would love to hear from you and, and would love to help guide you into how uh, you can get more uh, acquainted with Cigna. So we are in the midst of our recruiting uh, for both internships and full-time right now. This is kind of the heat of recruiting season. So strongly encourage you if you're in, interested in what you hear to check out our website, jobs.signal.com slash ADP. We have applications to both the internship and, and full-time job posting there. Um, additionally, if you have any specific questions, you're absolutely welcome to reach out to me uh, at my work email, or I'm also on LinkedIn. Feel free to reach out there as well. And Allison Eastwood, who is, um, she, she would normally be here. She's actually a, a very uh, involved IAMA support uh, resource, but she uh, is actually, a, I had a conflict today. So I promised I'd share her information with you all as well, in case you have some questions for her, she'd be happy to help. Um, with that, I'm gonna open the chat up. And if you have any questions, I know we've got about 10 or so minutes for questions. Um, would love to hear if you want to type a chat thing in or try to raise your hand and we'll, we'll call you out uh, as appropriate. 
happy to answer any questions on your mind. Oh, and thank you to the um, IABA staff member who wrote the note about the pledge. Yes, um, we were one of the uh, first companies in, in the wave one to take the pledge, uh, committing to the increase in the number of Black actuaries. So that was kind of a, in, uh, adjacent, but uh, tangential from our uh, CAC membership. All right, Shelly Ann, looks like you have a question. Go for it. Yes. Hi, everyone. I just had a question in terms of exams and to get into a full time position. What's the minimum requirement for exams? Sorry, I'm just going to oh, type that in the chat <laughs> and then uh, prompt Rachel to, to start and I can pile on. Okay, go ahead, Rachel. Oh, OK, I, I see the question. Uh, so exams are hard to get into full-time positions. So yeah, I'll answer the question for both internship and full-time positions. So for internships, no exams are required. Um, and for the full-time position, uh, we just require one exam passed uh, to, like that's kind of our minimum criteria. Now I will say exams are, are just one part of how we evaluate a candidate. Exams are, are important, don't get me wrong. Uh, they're very important in the progression to FSA, uh, but they're just one piece of the puzzle. So uh, back to the slide that was meant that I had kind of referenced a few uh, slides back, I think it's important to kind of look at the holistic picture of like, I view exams as kind of falling in the like technical analytical mindset bucket, perseverance bucket, but um, the elements of communication, the elements of business insight, the elements of leadership are all really important for like a whole package of what will help a candidate um, kind of uh, bring their, you know, their best uh, abilities and, and skills to the job. So uh, thanks for asking the question about exams. Hopefully that answer helps. All right, Tina, looks like uh, you're next. Yeah, thank you. So for, I have two questions for your full-time position how many uh, rounds of interviews do you have? And are they on site or virtual? And I guess three questions. Oh. And which um, <laughs> Thanks, um, which locations are hiring? All right, thanks. I think that was Tina who just asked that question. Um, I can see your mouth moving. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, uh, James, for typing up the question. So for full-time positions, how many rounds of interviews? So typically, we have two rounds of interviews for uh, positions at Cigna. So um, typically there's kind of a first round interview. And then if it um, is progressed to a second round interview, um, th then the second round typically has a panel that's involved with it. Um, it is at, at this point in time for full-time positions, we um, we had all our first round interviews are happening um, for the most part virtually, um, unless there's like a specific college career fair we're attending, which we have attended many this year, but um, the, I would say uh, like a, a more of our first round interviews have taken place virtually this year. Um, uh, and then for which locations, uh, we do hire in all of our full-time locations. Uh, they all are currently uh, open for applications. So our, our application, we actually get this question pretty commonly, our application is for all locations. There's not specific applications for the six different sites. Um, so Connecticut, uh, Bloomfield, Connecticut, Philadelphia, Austin, Texas, Denver, Colorado, Nashville, Tennessee, and St. Louis, Missouri are all um, available for both um, full time and internship, with the exception of St. Louis, uh, not having uh, only having full time abilities right now, not internship. Does that answer your question? <laughs> your thumb, like, thumbs up to the help. Okay. Yes, it does. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And Adrian. Hi, good afternoon. Um, so my question to you is, let's say you're based outside of the US, like in Canada, are we still allowed to apply to the positions? Let's say we're allowed, um, like you're legally allowed to work in Canada, but not in the US, are you able to still apply? Um, let's see. All right. Oh, thanks, James. Oh. <laughs> I see it. Um, okay. Yeah. So for um, for our program, we 
do provide sponsorship opportunities for students attending U.S. universities. So if you are a student attending a U.S. For university who requires sponsorship, you will, like we, we absolutely uh, like will, will like, uh, encourage your application. Unfortunately, if you attend a school outside of the U.S., we currently don't have um, the ability to, to bring uh, students in from that position. But if, as long as you're attending a university in the U.S., you are absolutely allowed to apply. Thank you. Uh, hi. Hello, go ahead. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's about this question. And, and even you are in uh, Canada, you, you want to... Uh, have the opportunity to do this uh, internship? In Canada, oh, uh, I, I apologize. I don't know if I'm talking over anyone, but I did see the question come through of in Canada opportunity to do internship. Um, so unfortunately you have to be, um, Ba like you need to be based in the US for both our internship and full-time opportunities. Um, if you are, Canadian, but going to a U.S. school and are based in the U.S., you you have you can absolutely apply to our uh, internship and full time programs. Yeah, thank you. All right, Gary. Gary, you might be muted still. Um, do you, um, I guess, obviously, you work in the D.C. office, um, and yet there's the six hubs. Uh, do you hire uh, new people who are outside of the six hubs, or, or you have to be there to start? Oh, thanks for the question. Yes, yeah, so the, I think the question is, do we hire new hires outside of our hubs? So um, for individuals who'd be coming in with like in our for like in a first rotation type uh, environment we do um, have alignment with our office locations as one of the criteria like we're seeking to especially get our new hires um, aligned with our office locations physically because we think there's a lot of beneficial networking and in-office interaction that happens. Um, outside of first rotation, we do have um, some uh, students in their second and third rotation who work outside of our six location hubs, um, but for brand new hires in their first rotation, uh, we, we generally ask for physical alignment with our office locations. And, and I would just build on that. Gary, so like for, for me as an example, I started in our Philadelphia office when, when I started at Sigma and then for personal reasons, wanted to move to DC and uh, that, that was totally fine at the time. And so we do require, you know, when you start, we'd want you in one of our five hubs, but then as personal reasons may dictate you wanna go elsewhere, then, then certainly we're open to having that conversation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions? All right. Okay. Thanks, James. I just saw your note. Um, <laughs> thanks, everyone. I, I don't know if there's, I don't think there's any other questions. I know we're about one minute to time, but I'll just wrap by saying thank you, everyone. I will admit this was an odd presentation for, for me to be it's very one, one, one way, but I encourage you if anyone has any specific questions or would like to connect with me individually, um, feel free again, shoot me an email at the 
uh, address listed on the screen or, or shoot me a LinkedIn message. I'm happy to connect more. Apologies about the, uh, the Zoom issues at the start, everyone, but glad we uh, got ourselves in eventually. And it was lovely getting to share a little bit more about our uh, program with all of you. So I know many of you are continuing on your your uh, uh, events with the IABA uh, sessions today. So I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your sessions and I'll I'll throw a shout out that I will be at the uh, the Cigna booth uh, this afternoon. So I have some colleagues doing the two to four shift, but I will be on at four to 6 p.m. Eastern. If anyone wants to chat with me then, uh, feel free to pop into our virtual booth then. Any last comments, James? <laughs> Uh, th thanks, Rachel. Glad you all joined us today. Uh, feel free to reach out if we can be helpful on careers or if you want to learn more. So thank you and have a great rest of the day. All right. I see a hand wave. So thanks, everyone, for jumping on. Have a great rest of your day. Hope to connect with many of you soon. Thanks for participating. Thank Bye.